Greetings, people, and welcome back to Tower of Time. This will be episode number five. And let me start off by saying thank you for sticking with me, if you have been sticking with me. But just so you know, obviously I ask for comments like criticisms every episode, but this time I'm recording uh, straight after the next one. So if you have left any comments, I haven't seen them yet because the uh, episode number four hasn't been uploaded yet. So yeah, but I, I'm enjoying this game. Obviously we haven't had any like critical choices yet in the last episode, so uh, I thought I'd just carry on and record two episodes, get them queued up and ready. So here we go, we're back here. We're just about to get into a fight with this dead knight. We unlock the blacksmith. Uh, we upgraded the armory last time. So yeah, jump right in. Uh, did we have any quest descent? Yeah, it's the main one. Find a way to the next floor. That's fine. Key in the lock. Find. We found both halves of the key. Now we just need to find the, the door that uses it. Or well, the lock that uses it. I don't know if it's a door. It could be a chest. It could be something. Yep, we found a side quest hidden passage. A massive door must be a way to open it, but we don't know how. We need to light the fire in the, the forge. So we've completed Syndros, got a fancy sword, and uh, we reached the, the throne, and that was uh, episode 2, I believe. Anyway, back to what we're doing. Sorry if I seem a bit sniffy, um, I've just been outside and obviously allergies, I will try and edit out um, anything that's too irritating. But yeah, let's jump in, here we go, fight! So we have a dead knight and a magi spirit. A group of large risen enemies standing guard here protecting a glowing lever. Ah, is that the lever for the secret door maybe? Here we go then. Right. Here we are. Uh, looks like we're getting uh, going to be having enemies coming from yonder, and these two maelstrom vortex things. Yeah, by the by the water. Oh, and possibly from there as well. Okay. So Kane has his hat. Yep, the hat that we found in the. Last Episode. He's got his sword. He's got his shield. Maeve has that fancy crossbow that we made last time. So we're going to see how that works out for us. Right, start battle. Uh, so we got some magic dudes first of all, and then you attack, you attack. Use more damage. Oh, that was, that was fairly easy. Okay, go this way. Yeah, you're coming back this way now, so. Oh, drain. Great health. That's not nice. Attack. Oh, yeah, he's channeling that ability as well. But it's okay. Oh, yeah, these guys have the um, armor buff aura, don't they? So you don't want to let them stack up. Avoid it. But he's already down half health. And that, that crossbow does a pack a punch. Very nice. Pretty good. Next lot, two more mages. Magi. Whatever. Okay. Oh no, we don't we don't want to be channel, thank you. None of that, please. Do that, Mave. Uh no, no, we don't like that over. Come over here. Stop it. You sorted that. Yeah, you've sorted that guy now. Good. Come back. Come back. Doing his armor buff. I don't like that. So we'll heal up. Avoid that. Magic arrows. Barrage. Okay. Yeah. Wail on him now. Good. Whoa. His health just went way down. When she gets a crit, he gets a crit. Wow. 
<laughs> Seventy percent done. So we're getting there. Not been too bad. He crit again. Almost all of its health. I like this. I like that bow, especially with the fire ammo enchantment as well. Or enhancement enchantment. I'm not sure. Yeah, but like I say, it increases her chance to get it's, uh, critical damage again, which just wails, just eats through their health. And that was that. That was easy. But another crystal. So that's a magic crystal. The blue ones were the ancient crystals, and purple, which we've not seen yet, is a relic crystal. Okay. And we found the arcane steel greaves of lesser fireproof. Okay. Not sure I'll be using that. Might have better stuff, but we'll see. It's for Maeve. Oh, she's got the lesser earthproof ones. So, do we want to. Oh, it does do a skill power increase, though. So we swap the earth resistance for a bit of extra fire resistance. Mm. Yeah, why not? Why not? Again, that could we could switch that out depending on what enemies we see. But yeah, we'll do we'll do that for now. So 123 gold, eight magic crystals, three ancient crystals, no relic crystals. Good. Right, where's this lever that we got? Gold? Ah, there's the lever. More gold. Big skeleton head. Relic chest. Ooh. Oh, we've. Another staff. Okay, we've already found the staff and we can't use it. That's a shame. But, okay, hang on. Doorbell. Ah, right. Sorry about that. Hey, there's the neighbour with the doorbell because I missed the parcel because I was out in the garage. But never mind. Got it now. So we've got a crystal, crystal, and a relic crystal. Oh, sorry, crystal gold. Now we have one of those. Very good, very nice. Keep going. So, lever. Yeah, secret entrance. <laughs> well, that was easy. A simple lever, brightly lit and in plain sight. This group of vile risen have been easy for you. Judging from what we've seen so far, I have a sinking suspicion that nothing in this place will come easy. What's that, Kay? A little pessimism in your voice out here? <laughs> it's all just starting to feel a little familiar, and familiarity gives us a tactical advantage. Okay. That's, that's that section cleared off. A little hole. Don't know. But yeah, we unlock the hidden passage. Have a nice bit of waterfall going on there. Right, so we have a fight. Magic duty. It looks like a spirit of some sort. So, yeah. nice little save, and in we go. Mysterious cave, secret area found. Combat difficulty. Some combat encounters do not follow a linear exploration, are leading to an optional area meant to be revisited later. Ah. Also, there are some events where you can weaken an enemy by special means. If you have only Kane and Maeve in the party, untrained and poorly equipped, this group can be quite hard. You can always come back later once you extend your party and get access to new skills and equipment. Right, so they're saying that potentially this is going to be far too difficult for us. Interesting. Okay, right. Hmm. Okay, do we want to... Have a looky loo. Um, that was a relic chest back there. Okay, um, we'll take we'll take the game's advice for the moment, and we'll come back to that later. All right, let's go this way. So we just need to remember. Well, obviously we can see that. So that's some sort of hard battle. Gold. Oh, oh look, there's another scary dude outside. That. Oh, here we go. Yep. Maeve. Maeve. Hold up your half of the key we found. I'll place my half alongside. Oh, sorry. Nose. Itchy nose. Let's try that again. <sighs> Maeve. Hold up your half of the key we found. I'll place my half alongside. 
On the count of three, we will slide them in together and see if the door unlocks. We did that, and we were... What? <laughs> One, two, three meters away? Something like that? Three meters? What's that? Well, like three and a half yards. So we got another bloaty dude over here. Now, what was this way? This way doesn't do anything. Oh, we found some coal. Ah, coal. Forge. Good. Yeah, there's nothing else here, so we can do that bit. Well, I think this is some kind of coal. <laughs> it doesn't look like enough to fire the forge for long, but it's worth a try. Those dark red veins are gorgeous. Okay. Right, okay. So, found that. Let's go back to the forge then. Can we do that? Is there a quick way to do it? Uh, uh, no, you need to be a teleporter to do the quick travel now. Okay, so run, run, run. Run back. To the forge! Wait, I've gone the wrong way. I've gone the wrong way. Yeah, I want to go that way. Whoops. Doofus. Sense of, just, sense of direction, not great. <laughs> so, this way. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. There's the teleport. Alright, here's the forge. Here we go. Ancient forge. We are most likely. Yeah. Damn it. Gee. Allergies. Right. We will most likely have to find a lot more of this coal before we can use this forge. But let us see if we have enough to light it. We've got some, something's going on. By the great spirits, it roars to life. The heat is nigh unbearable, even from this distance. All from a single piece of that strange coal. Your champions can upgrade an item of their choice now. Click on the forge and then move the item over the crafting icon. The magic of the forge requires ample time to recharge. You will not be able to upgrade another item here for some time. However, there may be other forges within the tower. Okay. Interesting. So, clicky. Right. So, what do we want to upgrade? So... Hmm. Choices, choices, blimey. Okay. Reese Herbo, maybe? I don't know. Or him? But he's got a full set of arm. Well, he hasn't got gloves. Gauntlets. But he has a full set of armor. She's still missing two pieces. So. I might upgrade her DPS again. I can. But if we click on that. So drag and drop the item in the forge to upgrade its properties. So if I do that. This forge can only be used once. Are you sure you want to upgrade the item? Uh, no. But we're going to do it. Because <laughs> we want to find out how it works. What happens. So, yes. Item upgraded. Plus two damage. Plus magic property. Very good. So now it's the chaotic old crossbow of water. So, damn, DPS went up. It's good. Uh, 48 and 53 physical damage, 48 water damage. Nice. It still has all its fancy effects. Okay, I like that. I'm happy with that. They're very good. Yeah, Forge lost the magic property. Cannot upgrade anything else. That's fine. So now Maeve does even more damage. So, going off to this battle, because, I mean, I don't know, we might be able to do that, or we might be waiting for the, the third person, maybe. Uh, which way was it? This way? Yes. No. Not that way. Not that way. Downstairs. Around the corner. Past all the ivy, past all the random pots with mysterious vapors. Uh, okay, here we go. For you. Enemy champion boss. Oh, okay. <laughs> so is this harder than the other one? Hmm. Okay, right. 
First enemy champion, very powerful creatures with a lot of health and various skills that can change depending on their remaining health. So they have multiple uh, modes, I guess. Unlike normal battles, this encounter ends when you kill the elite. So it sounds like there, there will still be other minions, possibly, but the main goal is to kill this dude. Right, so, yeah, so like I say, is, is that mean? This guy harder than the other guy? I don't know. I don't know. Spinny spinny. Uh, well, we'll find out. We're gonna save here. <laughs> and now we're gonna fight this guy. Oh, he's got a scythe. Reaper guard. Yep, so this is a boss battle. 15 to 20 damage. 7 armor, 2100 health. Resistant, weak against fire. Resistance to earth, resistant to water, resistant to air, not resistant to void. Skills. Do 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 do. Right, what can you do? Suffocation sphere. Removes oxygen from a zone with 4 meter radius. Champions are dealt 6 air damage per second whilst inside. Okay. Drain life. Channels 2 draining beams. 5 earth damage per second. We want to avoid. So if he does that, we want to try and put a wall in the way or get behind cover. Uh, decay. Throws a drop of decay, exploding three meter radius and dealing eighty earth damage. Ouch. That's like a his uh, area of effect thing. And he can summon adepts. Okay. Weakness to fire. Change party. No, oh, I want the same party. I was wondering if I could change. No, if I could change the weapons. Could put Kim Kane in. The axe. Fire. But no, no we'll, we'll try it like this. See, see how we do. Right, where are we? So, bad guys going from there, 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 possibly. So, Maeve, go to the back where you belong. You come here. Alright, start battle. Where's the boss? Where's the dude? No, it's the dude. So, we fire arrow straight away. I want to do barrage. You. Pull the camera over, start attacking. In fact, we'll charge you in. See how this works. Oi, come on you, no slacking. You are hit. Drained hit points, but that's okay, because we're gaining hit points using our life leech sword, yes. Okay, this is going well so far. New boss stage. Okay. Still not actually doing anything though. Hang on. Do the barrage here. You want to move? Oh, hello. Enjoy. Nice. Nice. Kill. Oh, one shot kill. I like that. Oh, he's draining. Draining. Oh, no drains. Yeah. No energy. Life draining. Cheatiness. You need to heal up? Yeah. No. Oh, ouch. Whoops. Yeah, I need to pay more attention to what's going on there. Okay. Come this way. We'll do a heal up. Yeah. Uh, charge into him, please. No, try not do that. No. Thank you. Just break on the break line side for a second. There you go. Kane, do it fine. Just kill him. Get the rest. Don't care about the rest. It's uh, nearly dead. There we go. Death Conqueror. Ooh. So two relic crystals. We now have three. So we could use the the uh, blacksmithing to make a, a relic weapon. Hundred gold. That's nice. And spirit necklace. Earth resistance. 
health regen, mana regen, movement speed, health increase, mana increase. I like, I like that. Nice. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't bad. A lot new sets of challenges. The risen. Very good. Like it. New teleporter. It's handy. Hello. Your champions finally move within the range of the teleporter stone. When they approach you, speak to them. Do not be alarmed. Oh, hang on. This is my voice. Uh, I don't. I didn't make a fancy voice for myself, did I? No. No, just normal. Do not be alarmed, my friends. I can use these teleporter crystals to carry my voice and communicate with you when you are nearby. I am quite pleased with your progress. But I must request that you return to the throne room at once. Unexpected visitors have arrived to our city, and their intentions are unclear as of yet. Okay. Your party will now teleport back to the throne room to greet the strangers. Achievement unlocked. The nature calls. Strange gather... Delegation has arrived before the Crystal Throne. Elves, a race you considered extinct, if not a myth entirely. A tall, pale figure clad in wooden armour, apparently growing out of his skin, step forward. steps forward. He bows and speaks. Ooh. This could be a potential character for our group. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, itchy nose. <laughs> Right. What sort of voice should we do for an elf? <laughs> okay, um, it, it, I'll start with one thing, it might evolve into something else, but for now. Elin Sila Lumen Omentilmo. A star shines on the hour of our meeting. I lead what is left of the elven dominions. I am Eric, a druid, master of earth and life discipline. My great council has sensed a mysterious power emanating from this area. We respect the sovereignty of humans in the Middle Lands, as we ever will. Yet I beg leave to join an expedition to explore this place. You are very surprised at this development, but gladly accept the offer of support. You can now add Eric to your party. Nice. Eric has joined your party. Eric, Eric, Eric. <laughs> Eric, an elven druid, commands the power of earth and attacks enemies at distance by wand, focus stone, or staff. Ah, he can use these staffs we've found. Among his many useful skills, he can heal your champions during combat and summon powerful elemental allies. Okay, so we've got another healer as well. So it's not just Cain. Uh, druids are most cleanly attuned to mana among the races, with the exception of the mystics. They're renowned for their subtle tree. In craftsmanship of powerful items as time's gone by. Eric, though measured in his conduct, is fiercely proud of his heritage. He resides in the Mage Tower. You can train him when you find a suitable tome of knowledge. This hero can join your party when you enter the tower. Very good. Ah, okay. Uh, right, so, Mage Tower. Knowledge of magic is very limited now. It's passed down from generation to generation. Yet it remains only a shadow of what the ancients could achieve. Hope that during your exploration of the tower, you will find books on this subject that will enlighten your mages and help you cultivate greater mastery of the arcane arts. Uh, number one, we need a blueprint. And some monies to upgrade him. There. But we could. Ah, yeah, we can't can't do that. Oh, he's already he comes in at level two, that's nice. Okay. So he's not like a level one. So what can you do? You got ones. Focus stones and staffs. Staffs. What's plural stuff? Stave. Okay. Um Armory. Yeah, that doesn't affect him. So, library. Okay. Bestiary. What did we find? Oh, the Reaper Guard. Uh, yeah. Right. Back to the tower then. We've done one of the main quests. We've done three out of five side quests. Two of the three blueprints, and still no enchant scrolls. 
Mm. Uh, for the 14 battles, we found one secret room, which we we might go back and try out now. That way we can see how Eric does in combat as well. What was his accent? I've already forgotten his voice. But yeah, okay, so we have them. So yeah, lowest hit points, highest magic points. DPS 8.67, but we will change gear in a minute. Or we'll compare his gear to what we found. Not a lot of armor. When expecting an armor mage, quite good resistances, uh, zero alignment. So hopefully we can improve that somehow. And there we go. Right, so we got three people. Deep well down there, and a small chest. Right. Uh, let's see. What do you you have? Nothing. <laughs> Fair enough. But we could give you the spirit necklace. I'm going to give that to one of the others. Mm. Yeah, we'll give it to you because you, like I say, you literally have nothing. But you got that. Your default weapon. Uh, oh, default you dual wield ones, do you? Uh, okay. We've got a quick wood star for sparks. We've got a quick wood staff of carnage. Sparks does more damage. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, eleven point eight DPS. Uh, oh yeah, we can do um, stiff uh, attribute points. So base two might. Fair enough. The physical. Oh, it does. It does affect uh, magic damage as well. Okay. Mastery. Nice. Obviously, very squishy because he's a mage. I don't like my characters being that squishy. We'll, gi we'll give you one. One life. What you know, she was... no, I'll check the skills in a minute. So that um, that affect your DPS? It does. Yeah, it definitely does affect the DPS. Hmm. Okay, we'll give you. What was that? A 10. Increases mana regen. Well, we could do that, but I don't. Skill power plus 20. That's 23. That's 26. That's 28. I don't want to do all of them. I want to bump these at least one each. That's 12.5. What are you at? 15.8. No, no. <laughs> okay. Could do that. Uh, no, we'll take, take one of those. Put one into mastery. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll try that. And skills. What do these skills do? We have Earth Blessing. Which does enchant weapons of the entire party, adding earth damage. Okay, so not so useful against the undead, but potentially helpful in the future. Nope, don't do that. Nope, wrong bird. Healing totem summons a healing totem, which after 10 seconds and heals people in a four meter radius. Very useful. We can summon an ent. Ent. Tree person. So, okay. Last 40 seconds. Has 150 health. Has 20 to 40 physical damage. Taunt radius of 4 meters. Earth resistance of 60. Ooh. Very good. What do these do? Increases its health, armor, um, resistance, and its tall radius. Taunt radius, or we can increase its damage. Hmm. So, choices with the end. You can either make it into more of a fighter or more of a tank. Okay. In totem adds elemental resistance. 
increases its radius and makes it last a little bit longer. Or you can add mana regen. Okay. Earth Blessing. Uh, increases the party's attack damage. Uh, lasts longer or does uh, armor and magic penetration. Hmm. Well, I like the sound of the end. Do I want to have it taunting or dealing damage? Suppose if it's taking damage, that's less damage that Kane has to absorb. So we can do that. Okay, we've done that one. Healing totem. Mm. We'll have it do that. And Earth Blessing. Yeah, we'll do that. Can't do either of those yet. Don't have any points. But there we go. So. We've got that. No points. No, 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 no. Okay. Character. There's. Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll have a wall of text about the top. But what was his accent? Crap, what was his voice? Uh, we are we're all, we're all stewards of this world. No, we're all stewards of this world. It is a shame so few of us readily accept the responsibility. No, okay, I'm gonna have to go back and listen to it. I can't remember what voice I gave him. Oh well, anyway, big wall of text that I'm not gonna read if you want to read it. Then balls the screen. But yeah, it's a bit of a backstory. There we go. Right. Hey, okay, back to, back to what we were doing. Right now we've got him. Let's go and see what this other fight was like. Because apparently this one's a toughie. Upstairs, fruit door. Quick save. Let's go. What are you like? Oh yeah, you are harder than the others that we've seen. Uh, da -da -da -da. So, not heavily armored, very strong life drain. Break their channel whenever possible. New battle mode, beats only. Yeah, they're three out of four. Not too much uh, health though. Again. Weak against fire, resistant to earth, slight less resistant to air, no resistances or weaknesses to water and void. Okay, it doesn't sound too bad. Uh, we'll have to we'll have to just see. Right. Oh is this uh sort of layout? Can't get flanked behind, which is nice. Anyway, right, is Mr. Elf. It's a very squishy, you stay there. Maeve, you're less squishy, you stay there. And Kane, you can you can go there. Right. You summon your ent. Yeah, summon it there. See what it does. Right. You do that. You can hit both of them by doing that. We'll do that. You you might as well upgrade us. Oh yeah, they can do a lot of life drainy stuff. It's not too bad though. Just summon one of those. In the end, end doesn't care. The end's just doing what he does. You just dead. Yeah. Okay. I like that. You can just kill from a distance. Okay. We never, we never killed that one. Kill that one quickly. And then. 
Did it do? No, I don't want to do that. Now we want to do that. Draw the wall. Kill that one. Yeah, but Die already. Oh, maybe you're not attacking. Why aren't you attacking, Maeve? Oh, you're nearly dead. That's not good. How did you... Yeah, you are squishy. Okay. We'll do that. Whoa! Oh, we can hit all of them with that. That's good. Um, dude. Summon another dude. <laughs> Right, uh, Kane, you're getting hurt uh, quite badly. Actually, you go there, Maeve, kill that one. Right, where are you going? Stay there. Nope, no, no, no. Okay, no, Kane, stay alive. Not your job to die. Stay there. Please. Come on. We haven't got enough mana to. That. We're not far off winning this though. We need to be careful. No, no, no draining. No, it's alright. We did it. We managed to do it. It was close, but we managed to do it. Yeah, that was definitely tougher. We've earned a two handed great sword of sparks. Very nice. Let's go. Hmm. And what have we got going on here? We have corrupted gauntlets. Okay. Ooh. Our first secret passage. Now, what do we have here? It must have been a mo it must have been a mining facility. Mining? As in precious stones? Come on. You really must curtail your lust for wealth, Maeve. No good comes of such pursuits. Good, Eric, Eric didn't have anything to say. And there's a journal over there. Mm, well, I'm not going to pick that up just yet. Journal, here we go. Day 2nd of Eldras Media, 125 AS, 125 AS. The food is slowly running out and we still have not found a way to leave the tower. It has shifted too deep underground to dig an exit now. We have tried through this mining facility, but we failed terribly. Halfway up the mine shaft, the convulsions of the earth brought down the ceiling. We all watched in silence at the manic persistence of the kin of the men we lost. We kept digging long after the rest of us saw it was hopeless. I fear the worst. Sleaf led us here, promising that the Great Tower will have plenty of supplies and offer protection from the storms above. At first it was as he, he said. We found supplies aplenty, but they dwindle now as does our initial naive optimism. Sleep is telling us that the only way now is to find a way down to the lower floor. Today our stoutest and quickest, among them my apprentice, depart on an expedition under his leadership. May the ancient spirits watch over them. Okay. We found another journal. Uh, ooh, metal tracks. Metal tracks of some sort. Old stories tell about them. Ancient uses technology to travel quickly over long distances. Yeah, it's called a rail. <laughs> Crystals. Ooh. Nice. Two ancient ones and one reddit one. Skeleton in the cage. What crime do you need to commit to be sentenced to death in such a desperate circumstance? Uh, gold on the floor. A reddit chest. Ooh. Hey. Nice. Esoteric spike. Great axe of flame. Right, that's another fire axe. So that could be better than the life leeching sword and shield. Could even be better than our first flame great axe. I'll have a look, I'll have a look. Right, where are we? Not you, you. So, where's our first one? First one's over there. 10.4 DPS, 38 42 physical, 48 fire. 10 point. Oh, actually, it doesn't deal as much damage. 39, 43. Uh, 0.22, 0.23. Yeah, it's slightly slower. Less cleave damage. Uh, more armor penetration. It has magic penetration. 
critical chances, percent chance. So yeah, technically not as not as uh, damage dealing, but only by 0.2 compared to the first Grey Axe of Flame that we had. But otherwise, it's seems a pretty decent weapon. Hmm. But I do find the life leech from this thing's quite handy. So I'm not yeah, I'm not gonna equip that yet. I might keep it for later, perhaps. Okay. Alright, let's see what these do. You have found corrupted gauntlets. So armor six, fire resistance plus ten, earth resistance plus five, plus five water, plus five air. Fifteen health points, but you lose one health regen. 10% critical chance. Hmm. Now for Kane. Yeah, Kane's the only one who can wear them. So. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Ah, see, health regeneration minus 1. But our current health regeneration is only 0.8 anyway. And that's only because we have the Lord's Ring equipped. So. Although he doesn't have any gloves. I don't think I'm going to equip them because I don't know if does that minus one is that the what's the difference point two would that mean that I'm constantly losing health? See, I don't I don't know if that would be a thing, and if it is a thing, then I don't like it. <laughs> so, okay, right, area explored. So now where are we going? Yeah, back over here, right? Yeah, I just gotta pause here a second. I just need to check how long I've been recorded for because obviously I got interrupted by the doorbell. Uh, so back in a sec. Right, okay, I've just had a look and I'm nearly at the end of my uh, episode anyway. So, where did we get to? We got to here. Oh, okay, I never actually got close enough to discover it. There's another journal over there. Um, so yeah, we've 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 done basically this bit since uh, this episode. Uh, we've gained a new follower, Adric the Elf, whose voice I'm going to have to look up <laughs> and see if I can copy it, otherwise I'll have to change it somehow. Um, so yeah, three of us, he's a mage, he's an elf, very squishy. We have that broken bridge, deep well, old book. Okay, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, I say it's been a blast, as always. Um, again, criticisms, leave them in the comments. Tell me what I can do better. Tell me what I've been doing well. And thank you, thank you ever so much for watching me. And I say, if you like, please hit the like button. It'll help get me up in the uh, search results so more people can watch. And if you really like what I've done, then subscribe and I'll try and keep up with the, the good content. So enjoy the rest of your day and bye bye.